Okay, it's 11 o'clock and we have Joyce Harris Thacker, Family Resource Network Director, and we'll let you come up, Joyce, and tell us the one, two, three, four, five, six things you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've added a few now. I added dessert to the lunch and actually serve it. Um, we appreciate the opportunity to be here today and for your all's participation in uh, April as Child Abuse and Neglect Prevention and Awareness Month and also our Children's Memorial Day. So we will be uh, having folks from our various agencies represented through Ocean County Partners in Prevention uh, read the proclamations and ask for you all to sign those and uh, then we uh, plan to go out to the plaza and uh, put the Children's Memorial flag up and then have uh, you all over for a luncheon at, at noon. So at this time, um, I would like to introduce uh, Mary Austin and Iris Gooden, who will be reading our proclamation. Tandem? Uh, no, one at a time. Read something. Mary Austin is the uh, uh, CSM with, uh, and manager for uh, DHHR, uh, Lewis and Upshur, and she has lots of representatives here uh, that provide social services uh, for our children in Upshur and Lewis County, and Idris is with Risa 7. We have uh, lots of folks represented here from the schools to uh, Mountain Cap, Wednesday <coughs> Crisis, DHHR. Um, so we really appreciate them being here and all the work that they do. This is a Children's Memorial Flag Day proclamation for April 2013. For as the children, for as the Child Welfare League of America has promoted the Children's Memorial Flag as a way of memorializing the thousands of children and teenagers in the United States who die violently each year, and whereas each numerous governors become involved in an impressive bipartisan effort, flying the flag or arranging for related events to memorialize children, and whereas the Children's Memorial Flag has become a recognizable symbol of the need to do a better job of protecting children. And whereas the response of the public has become overwhelmingly positive as the program progresses each year. And whereas approximately three million children are reported abused and neglected in this country each year. And whereas the efforts of child abuse are felt by whole communities and need to be addressed by the entire community. And whereas effective child abuse prevention programs succeed because of partnerships created among social service agencies, schools, religious and civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. And whereas all citizens should become more aware of the negative, negative effects of child abuse and its prevention within their communities and become involved in supporting parents to raise their children in a safe, nurturing environment. Now, therefore, the Usher County Commission does hereby proclaim Friday, April 25th, 2013, as Children's Memorial Flag Day in Upshur County, West Virginia, and urge all citizens to memorialize the thousands of children across, across the country who die violently each year. We call upon all citizens to increase their participation in efforts to prevent child abuse, thereby strengthening the communities in which we live. And as for a motion, that we approve the proclamation of the So, I second. All favor say aye. Aye. Favor say so. Good morning. Good morning. This is the Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month, which is April 2013. So representing partners in prevention, whereas preventing child abuse and neglect is a community problem that depends on involvement among people throughout the community, whereas child maltreatment occurs when people find themselves in stressful situations without community resources and don't know how to cope. Whereas the majority of child abuse cases stem from situations and conditions that are preventable in an engaged and supportive community. Whereas child abuse and neglect can be reduced by making, each, making sure each family has the support they need to raise their children in a healthy environment. Whereas child abuse and neglect not only directly harm children, but also increase the likelihood of criminal behavior, substance abuse, health problems such as heart disease and obesity, and risky behavior such as smoking. Whereas all children, all citizens, should become involved in supporting families and raising their children in a safe and nurturing environment. Whereas effective child abuse prevention programs succeed because of partnerships created among social service agencies, 
schools, faith communities, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. Now, therefore, the Usher County Commission is hereby proclaimed the month of April as Child Abuse Prevention and Awareness Month in Usher County and call upon citizens, community agencies, faith groups, medical facilities, and businesses to increase their participation in our efforts to support families, thereby preventing child abuse and strengthening the communities in which we live. Signed this 11th day of April, 2013. Okay, I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the proclamation to read. I'll make that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those same sign motion.
Sexual abuse and neglect no longer exists. We will continue to have a need for social workers and support staff uh, that are intimately involved in the lives of families for abuse and neglect that have been applied. To the DHHR uh, social services staff that work in both the Phillips and Hunter County, I personally want to say thank you. Uh, not just for your service, but particularly for your dedication to the jobs you do. It's not everybody that can do your job or want to do your job. So the fact that you get up every day and come to work and do the great work and the good work that you do uh, speaks highly of uh, your dedication, your character, and uh, the fact that you found a job that you like. It's not it's rarely enjoyable, but it is With us today are some of Upshur County's and Lewis County's uh, child protective service workers, youth service workers, social service workers, and case aides. Um, we also have home finders in our offices and adoption workers, and they weren't able to join us today. I would like to recognize uh, the DHHR social services staff that is here today. Uh, those who work in the trenches every day trying to make the lives uh, for children and families better. Uh, I know that you're still eating, but if you would take two seconds, and I'd like for the DHHR staff to stand up so that everybody can see who you are. Campaign focuses on adults and their roles in keeping children safe 
and hopes to shed light on the courage that it takes for an adult or a child to talk about abuse. Quote, in four West Virginia girls will be sexually abused before her 18th birthday, and one in six boys will be sexually abused before turning 18. Only but today, children all across West Virginia will enter a children's advocacy center with the courage to talk about the unimaginable. Because one adult with courage was they. Are you the one with courage? To find a children's advocacy center near you and to learn more, go to wvcamp.org. Profile child abuse cases such as Penn State underline the importance of adults reacting appropriately to reports of abuse. As early as 1998, reports of Jerry Sandusky's inappropriate contact with children were made from the victim's mother, yet nothing was done. Due to the lack of appropriate response, he was allowed another 12 years of contact with children, creating countless more victims. Six additional victims came forward who were abused after the initial report, and as you saw in the one with courage ad, only one in ten children disclosed abuse. So in that case, an additional 60 children or so may have been abused over those 12 years, and most of them will never tell. Prevention and protection of children is every adult's responsibility. The Mountain Cap Child Advocacy Center currently offers free trainings to adults and children. <coughs> The training for adults is called the Arby's for Life, and it helps adults recognize the signs of abuse and what to do. And also, a safety curriculum to pre-K and kindergarten children in an effort to help them protect themselves. Our child advocate, Sherry, is here. Sherry, is here. today's training, and if anyone's interested, contact us. Each year during Flag Day luncheon, the Parkers and Prevention Team make, gives an award to a person in our community who makes a positive difference in the lives of our children. This year's recipient has worked to protect children for over 10 years, serving in the State Police Internet Crimes Against Children Unit since 2006, and as a member of the State Police Crimes Against Children Unit for over four years. In his career, he's conducted over a thousand forensic interviews to assist the West Virginia Prosecuting Attorneys Institute in training new forensic interviewers. As a part of his duty, he's also educated our community's children on internet safety, has conducted trainings for the Board of Education to teach staff what to do in instances of suspected child abuse. And while he serves nine other counties and his work with the state police, he is from and lives in Upshur County and serves our children well. As many of you may know, Corporal Shannon Loudon was shot for a child abuse investigation in the neighboring county last year, and we're all very glad that she's with us. And we thank him for putting his life on the line, literally. For this important work. Come on up. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Alright, I didn't know she was going to ask me to speak, so I've been trying to put something through my head. Um, first of all, um, Tracy and Joyce, I think you're doing a round of applause too for putting this together. such a good job in recognizing and, and uh, getting the word out and make sure people know about child abuse and we appreciate them. Um, there's so many people in this room that deserve this award today. Um, I work with a lot of great people in 10 different counties um, and a lot of people in this room. <coughs> I'm honored and I appreciate it. Uh, it feels good to get recognized once in a while. But like I said, there's a lot of other people that deserve it too. Um, and 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I guess now, when I decided to make a career change and decided I wanted to be a law enforcement officer and quit driving nails, uh, taking ditches, um, the day I decided that, I talked to my wife about it and I said, one day I want to be able to work with kids. I want to be that guy that goes into the schools and talks to kids and be some sort of a role model. model. Never did I think that my career would lead me down to where I am now in the Crowns Against Children Unit and the great things that the state has put in, in force for kids. I'm blessed to be in the position I am here with work with kids. I'm blessed to be among all, all you good people every day. Thank you very much.
Once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here today and for the good work that you do. I know it's a hard every day you, you, you face challenges. But as a team, and each one doing their part, I know that we are making a difference in the lives of children and families here uh, in Upshur County. I would like for each one of you to take a pinwheel, if you will. And be sure to take your pins back with you. There's an instruction sheet. Uh, I shouldn't say an instruction sheet, because here's a piece of paper there that indicates why we do some of the things that we do during the month of April, some ways to do uh, uh, other programs as we work to make the lives of children uh, better here in Napa County. And I wanted to end uh, with uh, a poem that I wrote, and it's called Breath of Life. The pinwheel turns and spins, and the lovely petal colors blend, a symbol of hope, of youth, fun, bringing life and joy to everyone. Yet fully anchored in your hand, against the storms and shifting sands, flashing reflections beginning to end, from the breath of life, the circle began. At each new turn, the path can change, bringing sunshine instead of rain. From this challenge, don't refrain. A better life each child can get. Go forward, continue your good work. Thank you.